Today, we're going to answer the question, what does soil health and soil quality mean? These are two terms that are often used together, and we are going to distinguish between the two and define exactly how they relate to your farm. These two terms are often used synonymously and sometimes interchangeably, but they do have some subtle differences, which we'll go over that here in today's training session. Let's start with soil health. Soil health refers to the interaction between organisms and their environment. So if you're thinking about soil health, you're thinking about the ecosystem of that soil. That's the living piece. That's the fungi, bacteria, nematodes, insects in the system, and their interaction with the environment, so that abiotic relationship to the soil. Here's an example of improved soil health in a farm system on two different sets of soil agar plates. One is just soil and agar mixed together and streaked to grow microbes. You can see not a whole lot coming in, except for this column here on the far left, and a little bit rather unimpressive populations growing in the streak marks. You can improve soil health by adding phycoterra and increasing the total abundance and diversity of the system. The next piece is the counterpart, soil quality. So soil quality is a little bit older in usage, and it also has a much broader application. Soil quality refers to how well the soil functions physically, chemically, and biologically, and how well that soil does its job. On an agro-ecosystem, like a farm, the soil's job is crop production. But if you think of the job in a forest soil, it's much different. That's to produce trees. If you think of an urban soil, that soil's job might be to support houses and as a foundation. So that job can change, and that's a measurement of soil quality. But in this example, we refer to soil quality in the farm sense, supporting crop production. So here's a way to think about soil quality and its relationship to the farm system. Soil quality can be linked to changes in the soil structure. Here's the untreated control across many different textures. Silty clay, sand, loam, fine sands, all over the map here. We add the phycoterra and we can improve soil quality from the control by adding that microbial food source, improving the microbial community, which then helps stitch your soil back together. You can increase the agglomeration or aggregation of the soil, and it's that aggregation response that's shown on the far right of each of these pictures. That's an improvement in soil quality. Now I mentioned the soil microbe connection, that's soil health. Soil health and soil quality go hand in hand, two different terms, but it is important to keep in mind that they're more like a Venn diagram. One focuses on the living component of soil, the soil health and biological integrity, and the other focuses on the more physical aspects, or soil quality, and how well that soil does its job. So, as I've mentioned, two different concepts, soil health and soil quality. There are some subtleties to how they're different. Soil health is that biological integrity. Soil quality is more of a measurement of that physical and chemical nature, that field. Think about aggregation and water holding capacity. And it's also a measure of how well it does its job, so that improvement in crop production. But the end is a similar goal, and that is that both of those terms can help you with your yield and quality goals. Well, at least it leads me to this slide. If your goal is crop productivity, you rely on your soils. You rely on your soil health and soil quality for nutrient cycling, soil, water relations, just like that water holding capacity that I showed earlier, organic matter and organic acids, physical stability. If you think about physical stability and support, think about erosion and soil organisms. We showed this slide about soil health, that's where they fit in, and how Phycoterra can help improve that. And then some of that resistance and resilience, we showed improvement in crop yields in stressful conditions. And that's how that soil can help support that final piece. So in the end, we have a goal of crop productivity, and this is how both soil health and soil quality can help you get there. For more information, visit our website at phycoterra.com.